I understand that when you first came onto this project, you didn't exactly know what it was? Yes. I had to do a selfie to describe myself and to, uh, uh, to say why I did become an actor, but without knowing the script or the potential role, only knowing it's, a new, it's for a new project of Jonathan Glazer. And I had to decide to do it in German or in English, and I decided to do it in German because this is my native language. And um, yeah, and I think this was a good decision because it felt natural. And Jonathan invites me to London to come to London in a pub and we met for the first time in a pub here with his longtime friend and producer Jim Wilson and then he shares with me his thoughts, his vision, the story of the Hess family, he shares with me rare pictures and I was really fascinating because I don't know that a family lives next to the camp uh, and yeah that was crazy and from the first time I want to be a part of it. And it, You must have a great deal of trust in him to want to make a story that could be very, very difficult for yeah. a lot of people to see or even just to be a part of. Absolutely, and there are a lot of traps in it, um, but I felt the responsibility towards the victims from the beginning, and I trust him so much, and I'm, he, he was really transparent from the first moment and we had a lot of conversations about the script, about uh, the characters, about the couple. And this was, for me, the most important thing, to create this character and to work with him and to work on this project. And yeah, there were days I was a little bit unsure what we are doing here. But when I saw the movie for the first time, I was really impressed. And uh, yeah, his vision works. And this is really, it's great. Because coming, coming at it from a, with just having a, a British point of view, it must have a di completely be viewed completely differently in Germany. Is it something that these things were done by just very ordinary people just trying to get along? And that's the kind of person you portray in the film? Um, for me, this is not... Um, what you said is really interesting that there's a British point of view, but I think it's a point of view of human beings in a whole way. And it was like a European project because it was a British team, it was a Polish team, German actors. And, um, and I like the idea to, to create a European thing about human beings. So, and I think this movie reminds us and we see ourselves in a way and we understand that human beings doing terrible things to human beings, to other human beings. And um, my character, we want to see him as a perpetrator, uh, as a murderer, but we don't have the chance when we watch this movie. Um, and this, I think it's, it's a great perspective or a great way to understanding there were ordinary, normal, sometimes boring persons. And how, how important was it for you to get the chemistry right with your co-star? Because I understand you were, you were nieces, weren't you, in a previous film? In a previous film, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you a long niece. time ago, yeah, <laughs> and and it, when I met Sandra for the first time in real life, I was a huge fan of her work because I, the first movie I saw with Sandra was Requiem, and Requiem is it's such an incredible. Uh, I, I never forget her performance; it was really inspiring, and I was really nervous to to meet her. But then, from the first time, we had a connection, and we becoming friends. And I think this was, the first movie was, there were funny scenes in a way. I asked her uh, committing suicide together, but it's <laughs> in a funny way. But, um, but this was helpful for this movie. We, we trust each other a lot and we had this connection and you felt this, sometimes you can, cannot recreate this. Uh, and, and we had sometimes this normal relationship and this, it was great. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey yeah. you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, 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 that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!